she was. Oh, you're right. Okay, that's the fuel cell. You're right. Okay. Yeah. Did he just like go? Berserk, you you killed my you killed my friend. My name is Lego Montoya. You killed my brother. I've never seen that movie. You've never seen The Princess Bride? Mm -hmm. That's hello. My name is Inego Montoyo. You killed my father. Prepare, Prepare to, die. to die. I mean, I know what it's. Hello. Called. My name is Inego Montoyo. You killed my father. <laughs> How Prepare. many times are you gonna say it? No, that's actually part of the thing. Oh, really? Yeah, he gets uh. So when you he because he when he first runs into Wesley, who's the like, uh, who's the Dread Pirate Roberts, mm. and he he gets him all the way to the top, and he looks at him and he goes, "Hey." Um. Uh, he's like, he's like, he's like, he, he gets him, helps him to the top of the cliffs of insanity that they climb up and he's like, okay, let me pull up. He goes, no, 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 rest. He goes, I'm not going to fight you. Not at your best. I'm like, he's like, I'm like that. There's nothing in that for me. I'm a great swordsman. There's I'm a, not going to do that. There is a win in it for you. Yeah. Um, but no, he, he honor, like whatever. It's fairy tale. Anyway. So he does, he does that and he looks at him and he goes, Hey, by any chance, uh, do you happen to have six fingers on your left hand? And he, the character, like, the Wesley just holds up his hand. He goes, I, I can't say that I have. And uh, he goes, do you always start with meeting people this way? He goes, oh, when I was a bull. And he goes into it. But when he finally runs into the six-fingered man, he sits there and he goes, I've been waiting a long time for, you know, for this. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, for, for this exact moment. And he sits there and he goes, hello, my name is Inego Montoyo. You killed my father. Prepare to die. And he just keeps saying it. To the because the guy's like you're that Spanish whelp I, I I taught stuff to, and the reason that it's so important is because the guy his dad forged the sword that was custom built for his hand with six fingers, so that it was perfectly balanced and everything else hmm. it's, it's this perfect sword. Um, it's it's a nice rapier. It's a great saber. It's a great saber, not a rapier. No, it might be. It's a it's a it's a it's a rapier. You're right. Is it thin? Sorry. Yeah, it's very thin. Okay. But so is a saber. It doesn't have the curve though. Well, um, no, no sabers. Sabers have a curve. Sabers are wide, though. Because sabers are cavalry swords. You have to be able to swing them. And they're chopping swords. Well, I mean, they are, but, like, they're different. Like, a, a saber is a, is, a, is, a, is a class. It's not, like, exactly. a... Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so yeah, I'm, thinking, yeah, of a, yeah, I'm yeah. thinking more of a naval one. Okay. It has, it has a slight curve. It's a little bit wider. This is a rapier, but... It's, sure. it's very Count of Monte Cristo, if you're familiar with, like, that whole... Vaguely. I've not read it. I probably um, should, though. Yes. You, you should. It's really good. Um, I'm partway through it now. Is it the first time you've read it? Oh, fuck. Um, it. yes. I've read, like, iterations of it, but yeah. Fuck me immediately. Oh! Oh, shit. Yeah, exactly. Oh, fuck me. That's insane yeah, amounts of damage. this fucking aerial swinging I attack. like how he knocked over the, uh... He knocked over the, uh... The tree, but was still hanging, hanging in the air it. Yeah, I'm, of the I'm tree that wasn't the there anymore. I was the only one anymore. who saw this. Who saw that? This could be the only thing I'm doing here, but it's very effective. Wow, that does so much damage. Like that's that one hit is like an insta, mm. insta down on his body. My legs, you fuck. My legs, you fuck. Shit! What? How did that do that without? Yeah, I wouldn't know how arms. he did it with, unless he swung one one set of legs so fast. Hey, what the fuck? I died. Yeah. I thought I had more healing stuff. No, Shit. you had like none when we fought Monsoon. You beat him on like a one-time go. Yeah, but the th time has passed since then. I thought I You've only gotten like... No, because you, you took enough damage the first time that you used two. Oh, The really? first encounter, yeah. Because oh. you're like, oh, it'll auto-do it, then it did it once, then it did it again. Right. Shit. If not, I'm talking out my ass, and we're already into the next session, so you'd have to go back and watch and prove and pray it and edit out the footage. I can do all that. Oh, yep, I have zero. Well, that's unfortunate. Dun dun. <laughs> but yeah, so, but he, he sits there and just keeps going, hello, and the guy goes, will you stop saying that? And he just keeps <laughs> yelling it at him. And it's one of the things where I'm like, oh, psychologically, like, I'm, yeah. I am now the immovable... We have more than one of these fucking things. I see. Telegraphed. Yeah, I saw that shit. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> oh my god. I figured that would just. He just hit hard everybody. countered you.
that guy's like holding his arm and it's just like, uh. <laughs> so you cut through like one guy behind the other guy, but you never once cut through his, uh. You never once cut through his, uh, bit, like his spark thing or his, uh, his fuel cell pack. I saw that. Oh, that would have been that really good. That was fucking cool. Oh, uh, yeah, except now we're no, sitting here. No, I can't take advantage of it. No, that's bullshit. Yeah, you, you missed it just by, like, the skin of your teeth. Oh, how do I use it? Oh, damn. And then he hits you with it. That's like so <laughs> unceremonious. Yeah. How did Raccoon die? Was it with oh. dignity? Ah, <laughs> oh, Captain. <laughs> what did the Captain always say? Jace, never let someone hit you in the face. Oh my god, he got off the Captain. I don't remember that part either. I oh to, my god. I I um, so my wife is going out of town starting the first for two weeks. Oh, where's she going? Just to her grandma's house. Oh, okay. Um, so I'm going to fucking rewatch all of. Uh, DBZ abridged. I'm in that time. I'm moving over to the late shift, so if you ever want to like record, I will come out. It'll be hard to go out your way, but I can go out your way. Come out this way. It'd be a lot easier for me to come out this way. Uh, <sighs> save your strength, find it. Oh, so is this why the fight with Jet Street? I wonder if this would be the. Oh. You know what I have a question about? Hmm. He grabs an American hog. Yeah. And it's like, you, you, you didn't, like, model in there a Hayabusa, a Kawasaki, uh, and anything? No, because everybody loves how a fucking, like, like a, like a motorcycle looks. I mean. <laughs> Call this phone number? You know what the funny shit is? Yeah. At the beginning of the Jetstream Sam DLC, that's the motorcycle he rides into Colorado around, or into Denver on. Really? Yes. So he just stole Jetstream Sam's. Sam's. Yeah. I'm here for that. Oof. Got a solid C that time. <coughs> Did you not even rank the last time? It's B, 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 and you got a C. Does it drop you one? Probably just bad at the game. That was... Oh, shit. I already got all that. That's yeah, why, you did. That's why these are so goddamn strong. I've already maxed out its strength. Okay. Yeah. Follow-up, okay. Oh, fuck. What's sky high? Sky high. Oh, downburst. Oh, that's for the sword. Oh, it's a launcher. Yes, exactly. It launches them up. But I'm trying to get stuff for the pincher, or the, okay, the, the, the machetes, because... We're going to go fight Sam with I, swords, and you're like, I'm going to get stuff for the machetes. It was well, they're gonna be, was I know. They're going to be good against other bosses, though. Um, but as it stands right now, I have no... Move list for exactly. it. Exactly. Damn, of course. Oh, yeah, I don't want that. Yeah, no. Ever. <laughs> Ever. Oh, wait, go to the body. We were supposed to have switched over to his red form. Oh, that's right. Oh, I forgot we got that now. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Is that supposed to, like, mimic Sam's? No, it's just the colors of um, Desperado. The, oh, okay. Uh, the PMC we're fighting again. I think it's a PMC, but can we can we get? Is there one for Snake? Like, do you get like a? No, but there are DLC ones. Um, most of them just kind of change your color, but there is one that makes you look like Gray Fox. That's cool. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, if they ever put out a sequel to this, I would just want it for you, like somebody to have like made the spiritual successor to Gray Fox, mm. and that's your that's your fight is they restarted the Gray Fox program because Raiden was so successful, Gray Fox was successful, well, and they were... Raiden, Raiden like this, is, has nothing to do with the military. Well, I understand that, but, like, he was before this, right? Yeah. So, yeah, I, I would love for a a spiritual, like... Like, it doesn't need to be the Just Gray Fox. Just another Gray Fox. Well, I think, I think that's what Raiden basically was. Yeah. Honestly. He took the place of the... The Gray Fox. The cyborg ninja yeah. of the game. But, like, yeah. I... What would be cool for him to fight? Like, he fights... Sam is a cyborg samurai. He's a ronin, but he's a samurai. Right. I want another ninja that's... 
So here's the question. Mm. You think Sam followed him here because he had a tracker on his bike? He's like, who has my bike? I mean, it was probably just the most logical. He's, this is the only place probably in the United States that has a plane that can get to Pakistan. Fair enough. In less than an hour. Well. I love Blade Wolf design. Having a little heart to heart, I have analyzed his words and actions. I am unable to ascertain his motivation. Huh. Fancy meeting you here. You knew I'd come. She probably has all the pizzas. You need a hand. I see that. Yummy. Welcome to it. Well, not if you say it like that. Oh god, what an asshole. The war is the big I forget what his motivation is. I think he's just in it for him. Probably. I'm not talking about money, Jack. I'm talking ideals. Excuse me. Ideals, like everybody in the fucking Metal Gear universe isn't talking about ideals. <laughs> oh my god, yeah. Ideals, the game. <laughs> like It's so... Holy shit, you know what I just realized we have to finish? Metal Gear 3. Yeah, I know. Oh. We've, we've, we have this conversation every time we play this game. I know. Each recording session I at least know. once. <clears throat> and we're, we're at the boss. Like, all you have to do is get I know. back there. You just need to get back there. And I, but I know it'll take you a little bit. You just bit, need so. to finish the fucking game. So, what, here's... Oh, actually, no. This makes more sense. This makes actually perfect sense that it's next to these rocks. What? <laughs> I wonder if his ideals is just, I want to fight. Yes. Okay. Probably. I mean. This is such a gorgeous, gorgeous scene. It's interesting because, I mean, deep down, Sam and Raiden are the same person. Raiden just says that he follows a set of ideals so that he can feel good about killing What people. he does. And exactly, Sam is just like, yeah. no, I'm a, I'm a killer. Yeah, he's like, yeah, I kill people. I, yeah. I embrace the samurai. Oh. Mm. Oh my god, it's so good. Uh, uh, wait, the inverse, so, everything else? 